Hello and welcome everyone. In this session, I'm going to show you how to use GMM's diagnostic collections to create exams and then how to analyze those exam results to drive instruction on precursor skills. Let's first do a brief summary of what is Get More Math and how does it work. Have you ever planned and prepared what you thought was the best lesson ever and you delivered that instruction to your students and they did amazingly well on the content that you covered. But let's suppose a week or a month later, you ask your students to remember those same concepts and you're staring out and see these blank faces until someone is finally brave enough to raise their hand and say, I don't think you ever taught us this. Can you relate to this scenario? That is a typical math experience. And another typical math experience is the way that we teach our lessons. We spend part of our day teaching the lesson and then we give our students practice on that lesson to make sure they understood what was taught today. That model works, so we repeat it day after day and then when we get to the end of the unit or chapter, we all know that we have to give a test. And what do we do the day before the test? We have to review. We have to review because our kids simply forget. We do the lesson in practice and they do well, but over time they forget. And that leads to frustration and stress for our students and for us, the teacher. There's got to be a better way. Can you relate to this scenario? So in reality, it's not a teaching problem. We can teach that lesson very well. And it's not a learning problem. Those kids get it when we teach it. But it is a remembering problem because they tend to forget over time. That is a common struggle. How do we make the math stick? Josh Britton, the creator of Get More Math, knew he needed to adjust the way his students practiced. So he restructured the day lesson assignment so that it has three components. And you know these three components. They are lesson, assignment, and that third component is mixed review. Remember, the lesson is still all you. You have the ability to create lessons and deliver them in any manner you choose. The assignment is just that brief focused practice on that new material you taught. This is going to show initial understanding of that information. And then your students will work in mixed review, that cumulative practice that's individualized and prioritized for each of your students based on the contact you have covered. So Get More Math has assignments and mixed review practice to support your instruction. So how does Get More Math make the math stick? It's through that mixed review that's cumulative, individualized, and prioritized. And as you've seen, we don't reward students for completion. We value a point system. When you see the dollar sign, those are the skills your students can earn for a point if they are solved correctly on the first try. Why? Because we value true understanding and accuracy. Let's take a deeper look at mixed review. You will notice lots of squares and lots of colors. Red skills indicate new skills or weak skills that student has. As they answer them correctly, they will transition to a yellow color rating. That means the students are making progress. Once they have moved beyond yellow to green or silver or gold, that indicates that they have a higher proficiency on those skills. So remember, red and yellow are beginner and progressing but it's not until they get them to green, silver, or gold that they actually are showing true proficiency on those skills, which means accuracy over time. That cannot happen in one day. It will take several days of practice for that to occur. So along with the colors are our dollar signs. If the skill is brand new or still learning like red or yellow, they will see frequent dollar signs on those skills because we want to build the student's mastery. If it's a skill that the student has mastered, green, silver, or gold, they will see occasional dollar signs on those because we want them to maintain their mastery. Where is the power? Remember, the lesson is all you. The assignments are short-term practice where mixed review is going to be that long-term practice. The power is in that mixed review because it's cumulative, individualized and it makes the math stick so that when you get to the end of a unit chapter or year not only are you happy but so are your students because they can remember 
the material you taught them. Now let's take a look at diagnostics and get more math. While using diagnostics is not our preferred use of exams, some school districts require diagnostic exams. With GMM's exams, you can compare the scores from the beginning of the year to the end of the year or the end of remediation. Diagnostic exams are supposed to tell a teacher what a student knows and doesn't know. GMM has diagnostic collections for each grade level, or you can create your own using our skills bank. After your students take the exam, you'll use our exam analysis to target instruction on those precursor skills. In Get More Math, you can copy all of your work as well as the work of your colleagues. By using this feature, you could copy an exam to use as a benchmark of mid-year or end-of-year assessment for progress monitoring. Schools may use benchmarks to gauge the potential success on state assessments. Don't forget about the power of the Get More Math Mixed Review. Now for a warning. Please don't use an exam as your student's first experience with Get More Math. You want your student's first experience with the program to be a positive one. So we've created a few resources to help you out. If you navigate to our homepage and select videos, we have an entire library dedicated to students. There's a video on how does Get More Math work, one on exams, and there are others. We recommend having your students watch the first video prior to using the program. We've even made it really easy. Students are able to access this video from their screen. It's located at the very top in the blue ribbon, or they can open their menu bar and it will be located there. Also on our website, if you navigate to resources, we have an accompanying fillable handout to go along with the video. You can either send this to your students to fill out or print it for them to fill in by hand. Another teacher tip I want to provide prior to students working in Get More Math is for you, the teacher, to make sure you model every problem your student is going to practice. We have provided two ways for you to do this. When you open an assignment, we have provided a preview button. This will place you on a mock student screen. This is exactly what your students will see and gives you a great opportunity to model the problems for them. Another way to model problems is to expand any of the skills in the assignment. When you select the full screen button, it puts the problems in projector mode. You can toggle through different samples of each skill and then move on to the next skill to provide more practice for them. Now let's navigate to the teacher application and select the work tab at the top. Get More Math has pre-made diagnostic exams or you can create your own. In Get More Math you have access to content at every grade level. Choose a grade level then click Unit Guide, and at the end of each grade level's unit guide, you'll find our pre-made diagnostic section. The diagnostic section is organized by strands. Click on the blue plus sign and choose Create Exam to begin to add skills to an exam. Be sure to name your exam on the left side. To add skills, you can copy an entire folder by clicking the copy icon. This is a quick way to add skills, but I'd suggest looking at the skills prior to adding them to the exam. Just as you preview skills before adding them to an assignment, you'll follow the same manner to add them to an exam. Open the folder until you see the blue hexagons. That indicates a skill. Use the cycle button to preview several sample problems. You can view GMM's expected answer, and then, if you'd like to include that skill on the exam, click Add Skill. Now the first skill has been added to the exam. I'll add some other skills. I've created a small pretest of 10 precursor skills for the first unit. I'm choosing to have each student have the same problem on the diagnostic exam. 
I would choose different problems on a regular exam. Next, I'll click Save, and now the exam is made. I'll click Publish when I'm ready for the students to see the exam. I have the option to shuffle the skills on the exam, and I have the option to select which class will this exam be published to. Once I make those selections, I will then choose Publish again. Now let's navigate to the Classes tab, and I'll adjust the settings for the exam. By selecting Exam, I can see that it is showing since I click Publish. If needed, I can move the slider to off. I'm going to turn on Auto Accept and adjust the time frame so that I don't have to grant permission for each student to take the exam. I could even print the exam if I'd like. You have two options of printing for any exam, Exact or Practice. If you want the answer key, move the slider to On. Click Generate and a PDF will be created that you can print or save. That is because we are simply giving the diagnostic to measure what students know. For regular exams, corrections and follow-ups are my favorite features. However, for a diagnostic exam, I would probably not employ these features. That's because the exam is used to measure what they're weak on. We're going to find those skills and incorporate them into our lessons so that we can have our students understand and not have the need to do corrections and follow-up. By clicking on the exam name, I'm able to monitor my students while they're taking the exam. When the exam is complete, I'll need to save the grade. By clicking a student's name, I can view the student's exam. You can view the expected answer. A green hexagon with a check mark means that the student answered the problem correctly. A red hexagon with an X is shown for an incorrect answer. You can see how the student answered the problem. I would collect work from students on all exams to compare with their wrong answers. If you'd like, you can give full or partial credit for an incorrect answer. You can view grades and use the exam analysis to drive instruction. From analysis, you can view the number of students who missed a skill, or if you included a skill more than once, you can see how many points were missed on that skill. By clicking the checkbox, you can add skills to create an assignment. Those skills are included for an assignment. Just enter the name of the assignment. I've called this one Precursor Skills Practice. I've only included three skills as I don't want to overwhelm my students with too many red squares at a time. Including three or fewer with three points per skill is a best teacher practice. Now click Save. Don't forget another teacher tip is to be sure to model every skill your students will practice. Remember, it can be done by using either the preview button or using our full screen button. To give the assignment to the class, click Assign. Notice the message at the bottom of the screen when Assign is clicked. The first sentence lets you know that the class has the assignment. The second sentence is so powerful. The skills are added to mixed review. Remember, mixed review is the cumulative practice that makes the math stick. So, exam analysis can direct your remediation. Keep in mind that exams are based on a single moment in time, not accuracy over time. So you'll want to use Get More Math's mixed review to make sure that students maintain their gains. Okay, so let's say it's the middle or end of the year or maybe even the end of the unit and you'd like to use that same exam again. GMM makes that easy for you. Navigate to the Work tab, click on the Colleagues and My Work button in the middle at the bottom, choose My Work from the top right, find the exam, and click the Copy button. Now just rename the exam and publish it when you're ready to use it. Diagnostic exams are simple and easy to use and create with Get More Math, but I definitely want to provide a word of caution for you. Consider this, by giving students an exam, are you putting unnecessary stress on the students? Is it causing frustration for them at the beginning of the year or the unit, setting a tone that you don't want in your classroom? Do your students really benefit from taking that diagnostic exam? Remember that assessments are just a measure of a single moment in time. 
it doesn't really show what they know over the long term. One of the important things that sets Get More Math apart from other programs is our mixed review. It is the powerful cumulative practice. It guarantees proficiency, which is accuracy over time. It's an indicator of long-term retention. It is a measure of growth. And from the student screen, the student can even monitor their own progress on each skill in mixed review. From the teacher application, Get More Math has a mixed review report, which shows class data and allows the teacher to view several metrics. One of those is proficiency, and even groups students who are retaining a concept over time and indicates which students are in need of more practice on a skill. Looking at the student screen, students and their parents can monitor their own progress by the colors of the squares. Now let me address two very common questions we often get when it comes to diagnostic exams. If a student is at a lower level, can we find skills to address their needs? And the answer to that question is yes. You have the ability to look at all different levels and grades in Get More Math. So maybe you're teaching seventh grade, but you've got students that are still struggling and maybe at a fourth or fifth grade level you are absolutely able to go back to those grade levels and pull in skills to kind of fill the gaps and address the needs they have. The second common question we get, is it better to give one big diagnostic exam at the beginning of the school year or to do many exams throughout the year? At Get More Math, we're gonna advise to do the latter. To give one big exam at the beginning of the year is really not a good way to begin a brand new school year coming back from a pandemic. Kids are already stressed, they're already behind. So our advice is don't give that big exam on the first day or two. It sets the wrong environment for your classroom. Kids already feel like they're failures as they begin your classroom and you're not building them up. You're not giving them that encouragement that they can succeed and do well. Instead, if you're going to give a diagnostic, we highly recommend doing mini ones before specific units. Give a mini diagnostic, see how they're doing, and then embed those skills into your lesson as you continue to move forward on grade level. We don't want to go back and repeat the entire year again, but we do want to make sure that we're moving forward and not forgetting the skills that they actually don't understand, don't remember, or are struggling with. So that is our advice, is to give mini diagnostics as you go through the school year. And quite honestly, with Get More Math, that's not even necessary because you can build skills and pull them in that you know your students may struggle with and they become part of their mixed review that they're going to practice over and over again. Okay, so if you still have further questions, continue to type them down in the chat and I'm gonna stay online here and answer them for you. But for those of you that have your questions answered, let me go ahead and wrap up this webinar for you. If you haven't used our video library yet, make sure you go to getmoremath.com, click on videos at the top of the screen, and we have it broken down for teachers, students, parents, and administrators. Our teacher collection is the largest and has many quick videos for help. The next thing I wanna call your attention to is on the same website, each trainer is available for individual chats. So you wanna click on the resources button, you wanna click on connect with us, and then you're gonna choose a convenient time that you can meet with us. As always, we're available to help at any time if you wanna email us at support, at getmoremath.com. And don't forget when you log into the teacher application, that green chat bubble down in the lower right corner is there for you to get in touch with us and speak to a live trainer if you have any questions. Thanks so much for joining me. We're here to help you and be successful as you use Get More Math in your classroom. Thanks for joining me. Stick around if you have any more questions. I'll be answering them through the chat. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day.